The uh, testimony today from the former yeah. Secretary of State, there was a lot of information that we had learned from this hearing that Sadly, our media never ever bothered to dredge up. And in fact, just two days before this hearing, there was another doc dump of uh, a bunch of other emails. I, this amazes me, I, and, I'm, and I'm sort of, I, I'm not surprised, but that Jim Jordan's proof that she had admitted that they knew it was a terror attack, they knew there were security concerns, and she still went and looked everyone in the eye and blamed it on a video that this is not the top of, the, of all of the news tonight is shocking to me, Claire. Yeah, Dana, you know, there are a couple of large issues here um, that really the media has not focused on but ought to have. And, and the first one of those, I think, that I wish the committee would have gotten at more directly has to do with why we were there in the first place, which was the, the Obama White House and the Clinton Department of State decided to overthrow our ally in the war on terror, Muammar Gaddafi, mm -hmm. to replace him with a Muslim Brotherhood government. This plays directly into uh, the narrative of using the film afterwards as the excuse, the false excuse, uh, for the attack. And that is that using that film, blaming the film, allows the administration, at least it did for a couple of weeks, uh, to, um, to, to, to work with the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the, the Muslim world, on issues related to uh, curtailing free speech about Islam. Again, we are getting to the agenda of the Obama administration to bring Islamic rule, Muslim Brotherhood rule to North Africa. And curtailing free speech about Islam uh, is exactly what this film allowed them to do, dropped in their laps as an opportunity. They couldn't pass it up, and it helps them working on uh, this agenda with uh, the OIC to curtail mm. free speech. Over 300 requests for additional security denied by somebody within the State Department. I found that line of questioning incredibly interesting today, too, Claire. Uh, Hillary Clinton was saying, well, I don't know who did. There were a bunch of different security divisions in the, in the State Department. But she didn't seem, she didn't know who did, she says. But she didn't seem, Claire, to be very concerned about who did make those denials. You know, the buck stops at the Secretary of State. She is the one in charge of that, of that department. Um, yes, there are, there are subordinate assistant secretaries of state, the Department of, uh, uh, the, the Bureau of Diplomatic Security, who all have responsibility for carrying out day-to-day -day, uh, decisions and, and, and uh, security measures at, at diplomatic posts abroad. But the final, the final responsibility rests with her. And it's deeply telling that she refuses to take any responsibility to this day for the security of failures. I mean, dereliction of duty mm. at that mission in Benghazi to safeguard our people. Yeah, and this is, in fact, this is that line of questioning where she was asked, why didn't these reports make this make, make it onto your desk at all regarding these, these 300, over 300 requests? Uh, listen to this. Do you know how many uh, security requests there were in the first quarter of 2012? For everyone or for Benghazi? It, for, I'm sorry, yes ma'am, uh, related to Benghazi and Libya. Do you know how many there were? No, I do not know. Ma'am, there were just over 100 plus. In the second quarter, do you know how many there were? No, I do not. Ma'am, there were 172-ish. Might have been 171 or 173. That's How many were there in July and August and then in that week and a few days before the attacks, do you know? There were a number of them, I know yes, that. Yes, ma'am, 83 mm -hmm. by our count. That's over 600 requests. You've testified here this morning that you had none of those reach your desk. Is that correct also? That's correct. Madam Secretary, Mr. Blumenthal wrote you 150 emails. Mm -hmm. It appears from the testimony or the materials that we've read that all of those reached your desk. Can you tell us why security requests from your professionals, the men that you just testified, and with which I agree are incredibly professional, incredibly capable people, trained in the art of keeping us all safe. None of those made it to you, but a man who was a friend of yours, who'd never been to Libya, didn't know much about it, at least that's his testimony, didn't know much about it. Every one of those reports that he sent on to you that had to do with situations on the ground in Libya, those made it to your desk.